Hey guys, this is Jack Desla from Cloud Dosage. Today I'm going to show you a little demo of, of Cloud Deck. I almost said Steam Deck there, but Cloud Deck is a kind of Steam OS based cloud gaming service. It uses Moonlight, which is an open source desktop streaming software as its engine uh, for streaming. And so this is how you kind of get started. You log in, you start up your remote machine. Um, and this takes maybe about a minute or so, so I might speed this up. And then uh, once it's running, you click on that connect button. It will then give you an IP address that you can connect to. Um, you'll see in a minute, there's a little code that you have to type in. So I'm assuming that this is not super sensitive. Uh, you put it into your Moonlight client, which can run on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, all sorts of different uh, platforms. Uh, once you're connected to that IP address, there's a like, little pairing code. I think this is different every time, so I'm gonna assume it's okay to show here on video. Uh, and then you pair. And now your local Moonlight client is essentially synced with Cloud Deck. And so you're ready to start up your um, streaming session with your uh, PC rig in the cloud. So this is what that looks like. And you're taken into this interface that looks exactly like what you would see on a Steam Deck. So this is basically the big picture mode of Steam. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like a Steam, your own kind of Steam OS client in the cloud. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the streaming stats in Moonlight. Uh, so you can see all sorts of interesting things about like my latency. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty close to the server. So my network latency is pretty low, 15 milliseconds or so. Uh, decoding time, encoding time, and the resolution that I'm getting from, uh, from the service. I'm on a kind of ultra wide monitor here. So that's the resolution that you can see I'm getting. Um, although I think the game itself is playing at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And Ghost of Tsushima is just launching here. Uh, depending if the if you've launched the game before, it might run like an install script like you're seeing here. Um, it might take a minute or two, depending on if the game is already on that rig or not. Um, but not super, super long. Um, the game is now loading. Should be able to get into the title soon. Okay, there it goes. This is sort of like the loading screen for Ghost of Tsushima. It's interesting, this is like a PlayStation exclusive title. Uh, these days and ages, there's no real exclusives anymore. PlayStation's putting all their games on PC, Xbox is putting their games on PC and PlayStation and vice versa. Um, but it's cool to be able to play this game anywhere on any screen via the cloud. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell when I'm like, you know, sharing it to YouTube because there's lots of compression and things like that, that, uh, that happen in that process. But, um, hopefully you can tell that it looks pretty, pretty crisp. Okay. So here we are in the game now. Um, as you can see, this is a... Pretty high quality game, lots of cool lighting effects, the rain, the grass blades, all kind of moving independently. Um, really great looking game. And you can see it looks and plays great here on Cloud Deck. It feels very responsive. It's um, almost as if you're playing natively on a really high quality video card. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking. I'll let you just keep looking at it for a minute. A woman. From what clan? No clan. 
peasant. She can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even I haven't progressed very far in the story here, but it's uh, a game I'm looking forward to getting into. So I'm just going to show you now a little bit about the you know, displaying graphics settings that this game is using. Uh, these are kind of like the default settings that were set. Um, we could probably crank these a little bit higher, uh, but already the game looks great. You can see it was at 1080p resolution that we were just playing at. Um, so now when you're ready to quit, you just exit the game and it should go back to that like Steam OS big picture mode interface. Um, and you can go to power when you're ready and you can kind of turn off the rig entirely um, whenever you're ready to exit, just like you would turn off your own sort of PC. And that should shut down your uh, Steam Deck or Cloud Deck rig. And you'll be... Um, ready to start again next time. Here's a little sneak peek at some of the settings I've set in Moonlight. That's Cloud Deck.